Atacama skeleton. The rumors about a tiny mummified alien being found in northern Chile's Atacama Desert started almost two decades ago. They named it Ata. According to the local newspaper in Chile, called La Estrella de Arica, a local man named Oscar Munoz was looking for objects of historical value in La Noria, a ghost town in Chile's Atacama Desert. Munoz discovered a white cloth while digging near an abandoned church. He opened it up to reveal a six-inch long skeleton. The skeleton was remarkably complete for its size. Its teeth were even brittle. Yet there were startling differences. It had ten ribs as opposed to the typical twelve. It also had enormous eye sockets and a long skull that came to a point. Initially there were many claims of extraterrestrial origin, but results showed to be different. The results of his DNA analysis show the skeleton to be human and not of extraterrestrial origin. The researchers initially stated that the abnormal morphology and contradictory bone plate condition suggested Atta to be six to eight years old at the time of death. But they suspected genetic mutations are the primary cause for her appearance. Later, experts found in the genome analysis that those genetic mutations couldn't cause these anomalies. They opted for a simpler explanation that the pressure of vaginal birth and potential post-mortem burial effects caused the shape of the skull to be so peculiar. And some of the researchers called in violation of ethics by the earlier researchers. Whatever the explanation might be for the appearance of Atta, it is an example of the tragedy of a mother who lost her child.